Good morning and happy Wednesday you guys. So today I'm back with another video for you all and today we've got a Primark haul. Like for once in a while because even though I shop quite a lot at Primark I don't tend to pick a lot up because if I'm honest I have so many clothes and I am a little bit of a clothes hoarder and I'm really bad at getting rid of anything. So I don't tend to do a lot of shopping there so I don't usually have enough for a haul, but this time I have a few items that I can haul for you. So, to get started, it's this massive bag here. So, oh my goodness. Right, so let's get into this. So the first thing, and I'm sorry because I did use this yesterday at work. I was um, at training because I do some training every so often with my job and everything, and I needed a bottle. So, uh, apologies for it being wet, I've just given it a rinse, but... I got this bottle here and it's quite a big bottle it's got this like um almost sort of mint green metal top to it and it's got uh cherries on it and then the same sort of metal bottom it's a really big bottle it's really nice it holds a lot of you know whatever liquid you want to take with you i take squash because i don't like water if i'm honest and it's just a normal like bottle top so it's not one of those like sucky bottle tops as I call it. At the minute all I've got is a Ravenclaw one that has like a sports lid to it but the the like funnel bit or straw bit whatever you want to call it the bit that you know you suck to get stuff out it gets really like horrible and it's really difficult to wash and I just I don't recommend it I use it quite a lot I can't wash it it's not dishwasher proof so I needed a new bottle. So I picked this one up, like I say, it was four pounds, which is quite expensive for a bottle, but it's very, like, very tough plastic. And like I say, it holds quite a lot. And it is BPA free, which is always good if you're buying plastic bottles, BPA free. And also it is top rack dishwasher safe. So I was happy about that. So that's gonna be my new work bottle. Because like I say, it's just a nice normal bottle or I can like pour it into a glass or anything like that. So happy with that one. Right, the next thing I got, ooh, again for work, was one of these. Now this is a salad container. So you have your actual container for your salad here. Uh, it comes with a clip on fork, so it clips a fork onto it. And in the top, it has a little pot to put your dressing in. So it just sits there and you can take it off and then what have you. Obviously, I've not unwrapped this one yet um, because I've not used it. I will be using it today, which is why I wanted to film this haul. But I take a lot of different things to work with me for dinner or lunch, depending what shift I'm on. And I don't want to keep taking like unhealthy things because I do have a habit of taking like, you know, just sort of biscuits and stuff with me, which I shouldn't really be doing. I'm trying to do the whole get fit for Florida thing. So even though I probably won't put salad in it, I'm not going to lie because <laughs> I don't really like salad. Um, I'm going to put pasta in it and stuff and like couscous or rice or, you know, just stuff that you can eat quite quickly that's good for you so uh, i might do a salad every so often but if i'm honest i find salads boring so um that's a problem but oh hello <laughs> dropping things but it was only one pound fifty and i thought that would take my pasta in it like i say it's got a fork with it because we do have cutlery at work but i'm one of those people that i don't like using other people's cutlery does that make sense like, I don't feel like it's washed to my standard, if I'm honest, which sounds really bad, but it's true. Like, I don't like it. So, for £1.50, I thought that would be good to take my, my like, bits and bobs in for dinner for work. So, that's always good. Now, the next thing I got were, was, should I say, one of these. Do, do, do. Gonna be good. Right, okay. So, it's just... This little navy blue camisole top, like that, and then the back is the same. It's just got these little sort of double straps, if you know what I mean. It's hard to show, really. But yeah, I got that in navy blue as well, so that's really cute. They are a little bit sheer and a little bit see-through, but I needed vest tops that were appropriate for like work meetings because sometimes I go to work meetings or I go to training or anything like that and we wear like smart business wear and it's something that I don't normally wear 
I've always had a job where I've had a uniform, <laughs> so um, I don't have anything like businessy. I just have normal sort of vest tops, which isn't really appropriate when you're going to meetings or training or anything like that. So I picked one of those out for four pounds. I also thought that I could probably use them when I go to Florida because like I say, they are very sheer and very thin and very flowy as well. So they don't stick to you in the hot weather and they still look quite smart. If you have like a pair of high-waisted shorts and everything like that, I thought that would look quite nice. So I got that one for four pounds. And then I also got one in white just because Again, white kind of goes with everything. And I didn't want to keep getting black because that's what I tend to do. I always tend to get black. And, um, you know, sometimes you want something that's a little bit light, especially if you are wearing it for Florida because you want something that's a little bit reflective and, you know, is a nice light shade and what have you. There we go. The only problem with this, you do have to wear a white bra under it because any sort of coloured bra or black bra or anything like that does obviously show straight through which isn't the look I'm going for but yeah so I got a little white one and that was four pounds as well which I didn't think was too bad for something that was quite dressy and that I would wear and they do actually hang very nicely when they're on so I was quite happy with that that's good next thing I got were these monstrosities <laughs> Oh goodness, so I, <laughs> I don't know why, no, I um, decided to get some pool sliders and here they are. So they've got like um, velveteen kind of straps on them and the buckles and everything and then this is like brushed cork, you know, that really weird sort of, I like to call them like coconut feeling, you know, that sort of furriness they have to them. Um, but yeah, it's got that. And then, you know, they've got grip on the back and everything like that. So I got some sliders. I don't like them. I don't think they look very nice. But I do need some pool shoes for when I go away this year. Because I'm going to be visiting, like, the pools and the um, water parks and everything. And, like, Blizzard Beach, you do kind of need pool shoes. But I didn't want the weird pool shoes. Do you know what I mean? I'm not good at going in the water with actual shoes on my feet. Like people who buy those funny shoes that you're meant to actually swim in. I don't like them. They ugh, they make me feel horrible. I, ugh, I just don't like them. So anyway, I thought if I get some pool sliders, <laughs> at least that way, I've got something to wear sort of around the park so that I don't get my feet burnt on the concrete because it gets very hot in Florida. But at the same time, I'm not going to be too sad if I lose them or if they get damaged or lost or, you know, it's not going to be a big deal, to be honest. Like, I got some um, sandals from my parents for Christmas, which are Skecher ones, and they were very expensive and very comfortable and I would not want to lose them, so I don't want to take them to the water parks, whereas these cost £5 from Primark. And like I say, it's something that I'm probably not going to use after the holiday, if I'm completely honest with you. But they'll just kind of do for when I'm there. It's not going to be a tragedy if anything befalls them. So, yeah, I got those in a size 6. They're actually still a little bit too big for me in a size 6. But they'll, they'll do. They'll do the job, right? I mean, I'm not going to be the most fashionable person, but they'll do the job. So, that's good. Right, and then I have one more thing for you all. So, and this is probably the bargain of the whole haul. The absolute bargain. So, I'm sorry about all the rustling, but this is going to happen because it's kind of shoehorned in here. So, we, so, I bought a coat. And here it is. So, it's this little sort of cut-off, um parker kind of thing it's got little um elasticated wrists to it and everything it's a shorter one and it's got this massive massive fluffy hood on it which is all lined in black fur sort of here and then you've got the big 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 fluffy bit as well and it's all like quilted inside so I know this isn't very easy to show you, but yeah, it's all quilted inside and down the arms and everything like that. 
bring that back up and it's got these like pop up pop up pockets even so they're quite quite deep it's not too bad but yeah so i got this um this isn't my usual style of coat i think you all know that by now <laughs> i usually like leather jackets but my leather jacket does have a really bad tear literally from the elbow to the armpit like all this area on this arm is torn um and it's just not very warm now because it's got that massive tear in it of course it's it means the coat's not very warm now and it's okay at the minute because we're getting back into the like warmer weather but when i go to work at four o'clock in the morning when the sun's still down and it's very very cold obviously it's not ideal so I went in looking for another leather jacket, but Primark don't have any that I like at the moment. The ones that I want have the zip up pockets because I'm forever losing everything. So I need zip up pockets so that I can put my phone in and zip it up and know it's not going to go anywhere. Whereas the jackets they had in were just normal pockets that weren't very deep. And I thought my phone's going to fall out of that pocket, especially when I'm commuting and I'm traveling. I use trains and buses a lot to get to my workplace. I'm on and off different transport all the time. There's no way that's going to stay in my pocket. So I thought with this one, apart from the fact it is super fluffy and super warm, like it, you know, it has decent sized pockets. I can pop the stud together to try and keep everything in there. And I just thought it will do for work, really. It's more of a work coat than anything. So, obviously, in the warmer weather, I won't be wearing this. But in the in the winter time, I shall be. So, that'll be good. Also, it was a bargain because it was meant to be £30. And they reduced it down to £7. So, £7 for a massive padded coat with a big, thick hood, I thought was really, really good. Like, it, it is a bit of a bargain, if I'm honest. So, there it is. 30 down to 7 so that's good I got it in a size medium as well which according to their sizing now a medium is 12 to 14 obviously I am a 10 to 12 so I could have gotten it in a small but again I like my coats a bit baggy so that you don't feel like you're kind of restrained in it or what have you and yeah I'm just very very pleased with this I thought for 7 pounds I can't really leave it I do have a longer parka which you would have seen from my Disneyland Paris vlogs because I wore that when it was very very cold in Disneyland Paris and that one's nice but the arms on it aren't padded so it doesn't actually keep you warm which is slightly worrying it means that I have to wear like a thick hoodie underneath it or something or a thick jumper in order to keep myself warm whereas this one it's padded all throughout so I'm quite happy with that so yeah that's my bargain boom there you go pop it there anyway so that's everything i have for you today i know it was like a little haul but i do tend to ramble a lot so sorry about it so that's everything that i got from primark i don't know if i'm going to be doing any more shopping there before i go on holiday i'm trying not to if i'm honest i'm trying to keep the costs down i'm trying to not keep buying clothes uh especially because i have so many clothes so anyway that being said, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up for me. It really does help me make more videos for you guys. Also, if you haven't already and you feel like you'd like to, go ahead and click that big red subscribe button up there in the corner for me. It makes me warm and fuzzy inside. And until next time, guys, I'm going to check you later. So, check ya.